All right, let's talk about the 2A Inugami dungeon because I am I am now working my way toward getting my Tricaru team put together and it's kind of daunting because you have to 2A three Inugamis and you can't do them together. It's it's a long process. So what I wanted to do, what was what was really important to me to do is figure out a team to farm. I might have to stop my dungeon runs actually. Let's catch it before this one ends. So we can go in here and talk about what we're doing in the 2A dungeon. Because I wanted to farm stage 5. H having to do three of these in a row, it's going to be so much more efficient if we can do stage 5 instead of stage 4. Okay, now ultimately you do what you got to do. But, nice. But, we, uh, we, we really wanted to sort stage 5 out. And I kind of felt like we should be able to sort stage 5 out. So we did. I have tested this quite a bit. I ran it for a while in test mode just to be sure. And then I have since, real quick, I'll show you. I have run it all morning. And we've got him about halfway there. And it has not failed a single run. So I feel pretty comfortable saying we've come up with a team that can do this 100%. And it's really not that bad. It's really not that hard to obtain. I was worried I was going to have to try to 2A someone else to do this and, and all kinds of stuff. But let's talk about what we've got going on here. This is the team. Lauren, Fran, and 2A Spectra. Now, I think 2A Spectra is going to be pretty important here, but the good news is 2A Spectra is going to be so good for you forever that it's fine. You know what I mean? Going through the effort of 2A Spectra fairly early is not going to be a wasted investment by any stretch. Probably going to help you in several of the other 2A dungeons as well as other parts of the game. He's on the, the dragon team that we run. Very important, all right? So he's the only one that's that's like at all hard to obtain we've got fran and lauren and the game gives you both of them i'm fairly certain <laughs> when you're new now we have uh, ikaru here and what we're doing is we're since we're building them anyway right since they're all going to get six start anyway i have gone ahead and six start him now i don't think it's mandatory but i think it couldn't hurt especially when we talk about what kind of runes we're putting on him okay so really quickly i think that i think the kicker here is violent sets. So by now you've probably got your hands on a few violent sets. Uh, again, I've, I've said a few, in a few videos leading up to this point, when you get to a, a part where you can select runes, some of the rewards are going to let you choose which kind of runes you get. If you'll pick violent, you'll have a few violent sets by now. And if you've been farming dragon at all, you've probably got some decent violent runes. So the, the good news is the rune quality is not super high, but we're going to need at least two violent sets in the mix. Okay, so one of them is on Fran. She is slower than I would like her to be. Uh, but it's fine, and she is uh, a little over 30,000 HP, okay? So, of course, we've gone speed, HP, HP, and we're kind of looking for the same stuff in the substats. If you can find a little attack percentage for her, that's great. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll see a couple of our runes. We've got some attack percentage here. But ultimately, we're more worried about her staying alive, okay? We do want her to heal a little bit, but she is going to buff her on attack for one. And and two, again, if she dies, she can't heal us anyway. So find a good balance. Don't sacrifice too much HP for attack, though, because her heal does skill on attack is the reason I'm saying that, if you don't know. Uh, but she's going to be our, our support, our sustain. Lauren is going to be our don't let whoever we're targeting get a turn <laughs> monster on the team, okay? So a little bit less HP than Fran, a little bit more speed than Fran, and 100% accuracy. That's not necessary. I was running her in a swift set, and she had 70% accuracy, and she was still just as reliable as here, but I needed to get her on a violent set because I I, I think I think proccing extra turns occasionally is going to be really, really important for us. So she might be able to do it on a pretty fast swift set if you can maintain the, the tankiness and the accuracy. Uh, it, it, it's worked out better for me on violent, okay? And again, we've gone speed, HP, HP. And we're looking for speed, HP, and accuracy in the subs. We are not concerned in the slightest about the damage that she's doing. We need her landing turn meter knocked back. We need her landing her debuffs. And we need her alive. Okay. So that's what we're working with with her. Spectra still on the swift set. I think if you've got a fast violent set and you want to put Spectra on, it, sh it certainly couldn't hurt. But it doesn't appear to be necessary here. We've gone Swift Blade. You want speed. You want crit rate. You want accuracy. And Spectra does need to be able to take be able to take a little bit of a hit here probably even more so than in the dragons team when we talk about him he doesn't really take many hits in the dragons runs here we are going to take a few hits and we're going to talk about why 
Uh, so far, this HP has been enough for that to be okay, but if you could get more HP, that's fine. The really important things on Spectra are to be relatively fast. 100% accuracy is very important because even with 100% accuracy, he's still going to get resisted in this dungeon quite a bit. And then the higher the crit rate, the better. I, I, 72 is as good as I can do right now. I'm on Swift Blade. If we can get the crit rate higher, that's great because when he crits with the A2, we get real big damage. The more often he crits with that, the better. Sometimes he'll hit and not crit, and it, it's a bummer, okay? But we've gone speed, crit, damage, and accuracy here because, again, it's very important that we have that accuracy from, from Spectra. We need this A3 landing. We need every bit of potential for this A3 to land as possible. So that 100% accuracy is really important. Again, not quite as important on Lorne. And then with Akaru, I've put him on triple shield. And what it, what, what that does is if, if we don't proc out of our shield sets, this just protects us for the first hit anytime we're going to take a hit. So on the boss stage, uh, we'll talk about it when we get there. Usually this shield set gets to absorb the first hit or two that we take, and I think it's contributing pretty heavily to the success of the run. So what we're going to do is we're going to let him wear this set while we finish him, finish getting him ready to be 2 aid and then when we're ready to do the next one, we're going to get him 6-starred, level him up a little bit, throw these exact shield roots on him so that we're just running the same team over and over, and then we'll do that for all three of the Akarus that we need to build and uh, we'll be fine, okay? Because he's not super contributing to the run. The team-up occasionally is nice, for sure, to give Lauren an extra turn, knock back turn meter and stuff, uh, but the counterattack and stuff, every now and then he throws up a defense down, and that's also fine, but Lauren has got us covered on defense downs as well. So Akaru's not super important, so the nice thing about this is when you're done with the three Akarus, if you haven't done Crow and you haven't done Bella or you want to do a wind one, whatever you want to do, this you've now got this sorted for the dungeon, right? Any any other Inugami that you want to build, get them six start a little bit so they've got a little bit of HP, throw your your triple shield on them or double shield or whatever it is you've got, and uh and 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 have that little bit of protection for the first wave. And then again, we've just gone speed HP HP. We could probably justify going HP here too. We don't need him to have any speed for what we're doing with him. Um but Whatever, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. So let's jump in now and take a look at the run. Talk about what's going on. It's it's kind of slow. It's about a three minute. I think it's about a three minute run. But honestly, for the consistency, for, for the so far 100% success rate, I, I feel like three minutes is fine. You know what I mean? Just manage your runes, do some other, do arena, do some of the event dungeons. When, TOE, when TOA resets, especially, that's going to be nice. Uh, I think three minutes is fine, for, especially to be as early in the game as we are. This is the first stage five I've been able to farm. I think I've cleared, I think I cleared the Grim Reaper one. And I'm not sure if I've cleared another one. The stage fives are tough, man. So so to be this early in the game and, and be farming a stage five is going to be nice. And again, having to do three of them in a row, we're going to really save ourselves a lot of time by having this, this uh, stage five team established. So that's why this one was particularly important to me. I mean, if we could do stage five on all of them, obviously, that would be great. But this one especially, because, man, <laughs> I'm already halfway through the first one, which is fine. I was sitting on a, a decent bit of energy, though. I think I had it like 42. Um, it's not going to go this fast, though. We got we to wait on the refills. Still, don't, I still find it interesting that they don't have more packs that have dimensional hole energy in them, because your boy would be buying those packs. I would be refilling my dimensional hole energy for sure. I'm trying to catch up. So anyway, we're almost to the boss now. Again, not a lot of trouble in the waves. You see the shield set usually absorbs the first hit or two for us. Uh, they'll drop a few dots here and there, but we're really never in any danger in the waves. I've never seen the waves even almost go south. Sometimes the boss stage looks like it's going to get rough, but uh, we, we, we come through. Now, the big thing here, you're going to notice... Towers, tower order, all right? Left crystal, right crystal, boss. What this does, by focusing the left crystal first, we are preventing ourselves from ever catching that defense down from the tower, all right? Now, I think Crow might still have one. I feel like sometimes Crow swipes us and puts one on us. Let me, let me, let me double check that, actually, because I feel like there's a single target. Oh, he's, he teams up with the tower, and, uh, and and sometimes it'll go down. That That's what's been happening. But it, it prevents the tower from dropping that defense down on us at the beginning. 
so that we are at least not going to catch all those hits with the team up if, if that's what he starts with with a defense down because we're going to come in and lauren's going to start putting attack meter down on that tower and we're never going to have to worry about catching that big hit with the defense down so we're going to get rid of the defense down then we've got to get rid of the heel block too because the heel block tower is hitting us and putting heel block and that makes fran's job impossible right if, if if we get hit and we don't have immunity up she can't heal us she can single target heal someone but sometimes that's not enough so in my experience left tower right tower boss we're good because as soon as the right tower goes down and we start focusing the boss that's a wrap he snuck a turn in there i don't know how <laughs> uh, usually he does not get a single turn once we get our focus on him so that's kind of my thought process i've tried to do this just focusing the boss and it's just not reliable enough we can get some victories when i was doing it in test mode earlier we we can get victories and it's maybe even more than half the time successful but the times that it's not are very important and again we do not want to waste this energy especially when we're beginning the process of, of working on the three of cars so i think left left tower is the first important one to get out of there so that we don't catch that first big hit with any defense downs then i think it's important to get the heel block tower out of there uh, just so that we're not getting hit twice and fran can do her job and then when that tower's gone pretty much all the threats gone crow's not going to solo us okay um, even if he manages to take someone out as long as he doesn't take out lauren we're probably fine lauren's probably going to keep him from getting a turn okay but so far it's been very consistent it seems like a very safe way to do it and again, when we finish him, when we when we get all his experience, we just six star the next one and level him up a little bit, throw these shield runes on him, and we've got the same team. Like like we're kind of done now with the five A Inugami dungeon. It doesn't really matter who we want to put in because he's not actually doing anything but carrying shield runes in for us. So that's the team that we've put together for it. That's why why it's working. So if you've got any thoughts that you want to drop on it, if you if you're running the five A dungeon and you've got other teams that you're using. If you've got a way that to do it quicker that's that's just as safe and relatively reasonable to obtain uh, i'd be very interested in hearing about that as well but i hope that this helps you guys i know that again lots of new players watching these videos and the the tricaru team is very appealing but it's very feels very far off and part of that is because you have to awaken three inugami so hopefully this will set you up to do it in stage five save yourself a lot of time and dimensional whole energy and uh, that's it. We're going to get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope it was helpful. And we'll see you later.